case there is the right atrium right there Is the right atrium right there and draining into the right atrium is the superior vena cava right there the branches of the superior vena cava is the internal memory left and right like that right and the two brachiocephalic veins right there so they all drain into superior vena cava and the azygous vein right there right then we come over here to the brachiocephalic vein right here. And the brachiocephalic vein have two branches draining into it. The external jugular right there and the subclavian right there. Okay? Now we come over here and we look at the external jugular right there. And what we see is that the external jugular, that and that's the external jugular. Right? And it's outside the body there, it's inside the body there drains into the brachiocephalic and then right there is where the internal jugular probably is going to run into and some of the other cats have bigger internal jugulars right there is the cephalic that is the cephalic right there and the cephalic is right there so the cephalic drains like that on the back of the shoulder loops around into the internal jugular right there yeah? Now, brachiocephal there's my brachiocephalic and there's my subclavian right there. But my subclavian, all of this is the same blood vessel right there. All right? So in my chest cavity, under the clavicle, subclavian. Then in my armpit area, axillary. In my upper arm area, brachial, and across the elbow, the forearm, the radial. Right? And there's my brachial plexus right there, the nerve bundle, right? And the subscapular, subscapular, yes, 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 so there is my subclavian and there's my subscapular coming from behind the scapula, right? There's my inferior vena cava and there's my inferior vena cava continuing on right there. All right, now you have a nice adrenal gland right there and a nice adrenal lumbar vein right there. There's your kidney and there's the renal vein. Now you guys have a male, so that draining in on the left hand side is the testicular vein right there. Right? There's your inferior vena cava continuing down and then it splits into the leg and that's going to be the common iliac over there. The, the, the letter Y. So when it dips in, it forms the letter Y right there, the common iliac. And when it comes out, it forms the femoral. Right? Then the little branch right there that runs from the tail is the cordo femoralis. And then it continues, and that is the saphenus. And behind the knee is the popliteal right there. And that is letter Y. All the little wise branches. So this little tiny one right here is the cotter And again, it's going to vary. Sometimes it's smaller. Like? Both legs. It's just that this one tends not to be. We tend not to get blood in that. Okay. Or get blue blood into that. Right? Or the, the blue paint. Is this the aorta? Now, let's do the arteries. So now, there's the aorta. Yes, that was the aorta. And there's the aorta again right there. So there's the aorta right there. So we loop back like that, so the aorta comes and forms the aortic arch right there, right there. And now we see the two major branches that comes, or the two big branches. The first one is the brachiocephalic, and the second one is the left subclavian, right there. So let's get the, the brachiocephalic. The brachiocephalic has three branches, right subclavian into the right arm, right common carotid artery and left common carotid artery and notice nicely against the carotids we see the the vagus nerve branches right there mm -hmm. right? there's my left subclavian so all of this is the all of that is the left subclavian and that loops around and now 
It loops around and there's the left subclavian in the armpit area, left axillary, brachial and radial. And there is the subscapular artery running next to the subscapular vein. So notice that, same artery vein, the same. Yes? Okay, now, so now we continue down and when we come into the abdominal cavity, the first landmark is that we look for after the diaphragm. So the diaphragm is a point of reference because what's going to happen is we are going to have now two big arteries that branch off after the, after the, the, the diaphragm. The first one is a celiac. And the celiac has three branches. One that runs there under the stomach to the liver and that is called the hepatic. Okay. Then one that runs to the stomach called the gastric and one to the spleen, the splenic. So that's going to be the splenic. So there's a three branch. Of the celiac artery right there, yes. Okay. Right? The second one is the superior mesentery. And notice all of this cream. Those are all going to be sympathetic nerve fibers. And that little nodule right there, Valentina, make sure you get that nodule right there. That nodule that looks like a sesame seed there, right? You see the sesame seed right there? That is a celiac plexus. Is that, that a good we, thing? Yeah, that we talked about in, in chapter 16, the sympathetic nerves, the celiac plexus right there. All right? So celiac artery, celiac plexus, superior mesentery artery, all of the nerves of the sympathetic, right? And that runs, so there's my superior mesentery artery right there, running into my small intestine right there. So I'm just going to open that up, and we see it running into the small intestine. And they're all of the branches of the small intestine right there. So those are all of the branches of the superior mesentery artery right there. And you can actually see the sympathetic nerves running against it, right? So those are all of the branches. So that's a superior mesentery artery. This one comes from the small intestine to the liver, and that is the hepatic portal vein. Mm, okay. And you've got a nice big one right there, so you can see that. And that comes from, you said, the from liver? The, you, you know, that goes to the liver, carrying, remember portal vein carries good things, and that's carrying nutrients right there. Okay? okay? Right, so then there's the renal artery the kidney, there's my aorta, and then mm. further down right there, which was going to run into the large intestine, is the inferior mesentery artery right there. It's quite a smaller, yeah? yeah, smaller than the superior mesentery. Then we branch again the common iliacs right there. There you can see the branching right there, common iliac, artery mm. and vein. And then there's the femoral artery, the cordofemoralis artery, and the popliteal artery. Notice there's no saphenous artery. Yeah? Mm -hmm.